Tuesday, May 29th, 1962. I put something here at the top, ran entire upper yacht successfully. We had some information about uh, there being a, a dam up there and a water release. We had uh, decks on our canoes in 62. Homemade yellow spray cover. <laughs> the Boy Scouts helped me to make. And I probably had a better life preserver, something that you actually wore. Boating was a, a, a very minimal sort of thing in the, in the early 60s. I tell people that back then, if you're driving down the highway and you see a vehicle on the interstate coming over with boats on it, you knew who it was. You know, it was that the paddling community was that small. The early mindset was really safety conscious. You know, you, you didn't boat alone. You always boated with somebody stronger than you. You know, people considered the Epioc to be really, really scary. Part of it was just that the, the releases were not on weekends. That was the first thing. The, se the second thing was that uh, between the homemade boat and the homemade skills, it was pretty marginal. The canoe era was just barely into the fiberglass canoes. Kayaks were pretty clunky then too. But practically everybody cracked the boat in some way. It was hard to keep a boat in good, good condition because water was always lower than you liked. You chose the course of least resistance, but it wasn't like it was open. I was probably making and breaking anywhere from six to 12 boats a season. I can remember one time sitting on the river and realizing the only thing that I hadn't made myself or bought it from the person who had made it himself was my helmet. You know, you see all the old time boaters with deck spares because, you know, if you broke a paddle, you wanted another paddle handy. So it, it took a while before the both the equipment and the paddlers were able to catch up to the river. Mm -hmm. 